Greetings, EdTech5753. This is Rob Myers, and this is my final project for the Addy. And here we go. So a little background info on myself. Last semester was my first teaching as uh, an adjunct at Oklahoma City Community College. And it was also when I first heard about the Educational Technology Program at Oklahoma State University, or OSU. Obviously I'm doing both now. And what was going on is I had taught before, but it was mostly as a student aide also, I was a lab tutor at my community college. Both were up in New York, and so there was a lot of things that were new to me when it came to teaching, and when it came to this project where we had to assign the Addy model, uh, I knew right away I was going to cover my class, uh, but there have been a few cha things that have changed, but let's go over what, uh, what my background is a little bit more. So here are some examples of students I had last semester. Uh, some pretty good stuff. So obviously the class was a success. It definitely, definitely went very well. Also keep in mind these students had no concept of what HTML and CSS were and how to design websites when they first entered my class uh, this semester being no exception so basically I was starting with computer languages from scratch uh, this is a good example the student uh, already had a masters in music theory and she was taking my class uh, to to brush up on things obviously she did very well but the thing to consider when it comes to HTML, CSS, so you can get a better idea of what this Addy project was about. Here's what it takes right here. Uh, this is all the source code. Basically, you have to learn. This is uh, this is the music project. This is that flutes. Uh, or I'm sorry, it's uh, they're not flutes. They're clarinets. She always got mad at me for calling them flutes. Uh, these, all of this had to be taught to my students with no prior concepts of what any of this stuff is and same with folder management let's look at that site uh, it's folder structure is a big deal images have to go in this folder or it won't work you know, cascading style sheet which is its own language uh, that is also a big part of this class So, the class went well, but still during it, it's some of the concepts I learned from the instructional introduction instructional design, such as n avoiding knowledge dumping, which I did last semester. I just got up there and talked and talked and talked. Uh, also, finding knowledge gaps, which I guess I'm good at, if uh, according to the feedback from this course, uh, I'm good at assessing the knowledge gaps people had, which you know I'm teaching a lot of just basic computer skills which is fine uh, but it's really it's important to step back and you know not assume things with students and understand you know if you gotta talk about folder structure and over and over again then you, you gotta do that if you gotta talk about how to save files in the correct format you gotta do that because it's if you're gonna get into the coding it's one of these things you know this is coding uh, you have to assess all those prior knowledge gaps because you're not <laughs> you're not going to get to a full-fledged website if you're not sure how to save as a hypertext markup language file. 
anyway, obviously I think a lot about this class. Uh, it's something I do a lot because I'm here in Oklahoma and I needed something to do. So I think a lot about this class and that's why my Addy project was about it. So let's look uh, a bit at this project and reflect and analyze how things have changed a bit. So let's do that now. Okay, so first thing, uh, reflecting, or not even reflecting, I apologize, analyzing what, uh, what this project's done, how it's changed, how the peer reviews changed things. Uh, first off, the person that reviewed my my Addy project here was Paul and I'm not going to give out his last name for privacy reasons but Paul Paul was really good I could tell from the manic discussions uh, for the last eight weeks and go Paul and uh, and just the way he worded things he was definitely versed in instructional design and very good at what he does so when I when Paul was assigned to peer review my project I knew that I was definitely going to be in for um, basically top-the-line suggestions here so let's look at basically how this project has changed and how I can incorporate things just right away first off and I did actually for the final project uh, you know Paul was confused and definitely brought it up and I, I felt the same way. Starting out with this project uh, I was just focusing on images. I was just focusing on images because uh, I thought it would be a little bit smaller. I thought the uh, the Addy project was going to just focus on small things like or not small things, small projects So originally, I thought the Addy project here in instructional design was going to be for small, uh, small projects. And what I found out as each class came into being, each week I should say, each module opened up, that I was going to have to include the entire class. So there's something Paul and you know I I assessed <laughs> about uh, six weeks into this is I needed to change that. So how I'm analyzing this project and implementing things right away, and I mean I'm implementing them before I even uploaded the final assignment, uh, we went over, or I went over how I changed this from the micro image to the macro of the entire class that I'm teaching, the entire Oklahoma City Community College Web Design 1 class. I decided in the Addy project it was best that I include the the whole thing instead of just writing about the image implementation because it just it appeared that this project required uh, more analyzation than just one certain part of my class so I changed that right away mostly in the analyze section uh, you can see that with my website that I created specifically for this is uh, right there the analyze I changed quite a bit here I'm also the main thing is implementing right away is that I understand now that it's more important when communicating to other people especially instructors how to avoid uh, the curse of knowledge hand it if I'm passing the torch to somebody else, you know, not make so many assumptions they know what I'm discussing, or just, you know, any project manager, this is definitely going to help me out. Definitely just the way to write for for project managers and other, other people. Uh, as you can see, it's just a lot of stuff, and I did the best I could with the time I had allowed. I mean, he had great ideas for structure when it comes to documentation on this uh, but again with an eight-week intensive there's only so much time to do 
all the suggestions, but I'm definitely implementing things right away. So the way I'm going to roll this out to users is uh, it's more so for what I got from it was more to uh, other people, other instructors or possibly superiors, people that head up the projects or, you know, branches of education. That's mainly how I'm going to roll this out to users. And to reflect on things, to wrap this up, because uh, we're going a little long here, is reflecting on everything, what it taught me about designing instruction, and the benefit here is, you know, uh, it basically introduced me to instructional design. I'm brand new. I had really no concept of what instructional design was before just reading job postings. That's all I had before entering this. So that's what it taught me is just what instructional design is in itself. I didn't, I just, I didn't know. Um, and importantly, viewing things in an instructional design model I, before I had no concept of what that even was. So there's something I can use immediately. And obviously where I want to grow is, I mean, there's plenty of room, uh, communication, which I've talked about. I'd love to be able to communicate people with more in an instructional design uh, language than uh, kind of the typical kind of geeky way. Uh, so that's big area I want to grow and definitely better understanding of instructional design models. And I guess that wraps everything up. It's been, uh, you know, I put my heart and soul into this, even though it's kind of lacking in certain areas of content and communication, but it does strive in the areas I'm good at with technology and this fancy website I created just for this uh, course. And uh, that's all I got. So I will see you next time. Rob Myers out.